There we go. As one of the world's biggest island nations, Japan has become an expert at building bridges. It has nearly 600,000 of them, including this record breaker. Yeah, the Akashi Bridge, world's longest suspension bridge, 2.4 miles long, 1.2 miles between those two posts. It's about 500 metres longer than the Umber Bridge. It took 10 years to build and cost £3 billion. Pounds. They're not bad binoculars, are they? Not only is it the most expensive bridge ever built, but it's also the strongest. Run out of money again. Run out of money. In 1995, three years before completion, it was hit by a magnitude 7 earthquake, but the 100-storey towers stayed intact. I mean, the two bits of land got one metre further apart after the earthquake, so they had to bolt a bit on the end. Yeah, yeah what was the world's longest bridge? Got one metre longer. <laughs> And today, Guy gets to work on it. Inside the giant anchor point is a vehicle lift. Bloody hell. This is the commute to work for the bridge maintenance team. Guy will be helping with the job they do every day. <laughs> Checking the bridge for rust. Now, in a situation like this, real humid environment, surrounded by salt water, you're going to get a right load of corrosion. Just keeping on top of the rust is the biggest thing, isn't it? Keep its integrity. Bloody hell. Be careful. Yeah, it's good, it's good. The inspection will be carried out using the bridge's very own built-in gantry crane. Up. <laughs> They're 100 metres above the sea. Now, boy, you all right? Today, the crucial supports under the South Tower are being checked. The idea of this lattice work is to get rid of the twist. Like a Ducati chassis, isn't it, in a way? The Akashi designers knew the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in Washington had been twisted out of shape by a 40 miles per hour wind. Scale models had shown that the longest bridge in the world would experience even stronger forces, because the wind would be accelerated as it funneled between the land on either side. I mean, you get on the shore, it's not windy at all, but we're stood here. We must be like in some sort of venturi or something. He's blowing a hoolie, isn't he, down here now? The solution was triangular trusses of steel that would add rigidity but would still allow the wind to pass through. OK. The downside is that there are far more parts to inspect. Here we are. Two million square metres of metal. There's loads of little bits of rust darting in loads of places. So it'll just escalate and escalate, and then rust will make rot, and then, yeah, you've got a knackered bridge. The Japanese word for rust is sabby. Yeah, no big sabby. No big sabby, just little sabby. It's a little bit of rust, mate. Pick it up, pick it up. OK. Any problem areas are covered with a zinc-rich paint that inhibits rust. Like you can see there, just paint on top of paint on top of paint. The bridge company has a daily inspection schedule plotted out until the year 2100. It's in Japan, they know what they're doing, they? They know what they're doing. The Akashi Kaikyo Bridge shows the lengths Japan will go to in order to overcome its geography. 